Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the perfect half lap joint. I did not achieve this by using the typical jig that you would attach to your table saw fence. I did this all on my sacrificial crosscut fence. And you saw me build that fence when I did my video on perfect T-tracks. Using the same fence and a very simple jig attachment, I can do the whole operation on the table saw using the same jig without having to switch between a crosscut and a jig for the fence. So it's a one-stop shop jig that does the whole job and it does it very well and is completely flexible and adjustable. Today I'm building a couple of oak frames. So instead of a miter joint, I am using the half lap joint method on the corners and it'll look really great once it's done with a round over bit and all that. So with that, let's get to it. Once I have everything lined up the way I like it and it's uh, set up for batch cutting, I will put a mark with pencil so that I know where to position this again if I need to set it up again. I ran a task cut and once I'm satisfied with the result of that, this, is, this test wood is the same thickness as the wood I'm going to use for my frames. Once I'm satisfied with that, I can move on to doing the actual batch cutting. Now 
Now that I'm finished, my ends look like this. That's the first cut, so the whole batch has been done for the frame. I'm making two sets of frames uh, with the half lap corner joint. The reason why this side is thinner than this side is because it includes the kerf. So you have to imagine the thickness that includes the kerf. So the waist side will be this thin side. That's what we'll cut off. So now we'll set up our jig for the cross cuts. Just to make sure we're not going too thin here or too thick. I'm going to slide a piece in here. Of course you can use a kerf maker for this, but I can see it. So I'm going to do it this way. nice and tidy. Into a perfect half lap. Well that concludes building a simple jig for your sacrificial crosscut fence. And this goes along with my previous video on how to build a fence with perfect T-tracks in it. And this is one of the ways that you can use those T-tracks effectively on your table saw to make different attachments and jigs. It's all one jig, it's just a couple of different adjustments and you can do the whole operation right in your table saw. The accuracy is phenomenal. These joints are perfectly square. If you want a slightly different look, you can always glue these together and then follow up with a dowel for decoration. This is a good start and I will be coming up with more jigs for the sacrificial crosscut fence. If you'd like to help me make and edit these videos, head on over to my donation page right over here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. There are a couple more videos on this side you can watch. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.